Wrong music. Thank you. Welcome back to our Super Mario Bros. movie special, everybody, with another DOS game. And it's Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. Let's see how it goes. Move that there, and we're good. Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy! Today we have Hanna Rojas, who's a zookeeper from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Gay Candy Yang is a pharmacist from Miami, Florida. Here are the categories. We have the Emmys. Alright. Flowers, quotes, song lyrics, history, and we'll close it out with Seven Wonders. All right. I'm looking them over carefully. I'll take Emmys for 100. <laughs> This best children's series of 1955 was a real dog. What is Lassie? Correct. <laughs> Calypso singer who was the first black to win an Emmy. Who is Harry Belafonte? Yes. Sixties winner starring Rowan and Martin. What is laughing? You are correct. After 13 years on this Emmy, on this Western, Doc won an Emmy. What is Gunsmoke? You are correct. Current late night host whose daytime show won an Emmy after being canceled. Who is David Letterman? That's it. Okay. I would like to go with uh, flowers for honey. Vine with showy purple or white flowers named after U.S. anatomist Casper Wistar. What is a wisteria? Right. person should know that this flower's name is from the French pensi thought was a pansy that's it associated with spring 
time. It's a yellow Narcissus. What is the um Crocus? No. That's wrong. Daffodil. Right. The African lily is also referred to as the lily of this river. What is the Nile? You are correct. And flowers for 500. The London Times says a small country accounts for 63% of all world exports of cut flowers. The Netherlands, I think so. Yes. Right? Dr. Livingstone named these African falls one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Um, what are the Stanley Falls? No. No. Ah, Victoria Falls. According to Dorothy Parker, women and these never forget. What are elephants? Right. Uh, quotes for 200. 1927 movie that gave us the quote, You ain't heard nothing yet, folks. What is the jazz singer? Yes. In 1899, Congressman Willard Vandiver first said, I'm from Missouri. You have got to do this. What is show me? That's it. Touch of evil director who said, Everybody denies I am a genius, but nobody ever called me one. It was Orson Welles. Yes. Prayer says, Good Lord, deliver us from ghoulies and ghosties and long legged beasties and things like this. What is go bump in the night? Right. The ancient wonder of Olympia was a gold and silver statue of this king of the gods. Who is Zeus? Yes. Ninety miles from the last remaining ancient wonder, this waterway is one of the seven modern wonders. What is the Suez Canal? You are correct. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon hung in what's now this country. What is Iraq? Right. Mexico 
newest paracutin, the youngest of these in the Western Hemisphere, is also the newest one. A mountain? No. What is a pyramid? No. Volcano, okay. Why don't we try history for hundreds? In 1689, China signed its first treaty with this neighbor defining their border. What is Russia? Right. In 1867, these two European nations became a dual monarchy under Franz Joseph. What are Austria, Hungary, Austria and Hungary? That's it. Okay. 1502, he made his fourth and final voyage to the New World. Who is Christopher Columbus? That's it. In 1997, ownership of this British colony reverts to China. What is Hong Kong? Right. After 35 ballots, the House broke an electoral tie to make him president in 1801. Who is Thomas Jefferson? Right. Okay, song lyrics 100. <laughs> Took us a little while, but we found the Daily Double. I'll bet it all. It's the first clue, so in that category. Cole Porter wrote, I've got you under this. What is my skin? Yes. The sons of the pioneers saying, drifting along with the tumbling these. Tumbleweeds? That's it. Nancy Sinatra and Lee Hazelwood have been talking about this city ever since the fire went out. Jackson? Correct. In the famous hymn, title words proceeding, How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. What is Amazing Grace? Right. <laughs> the South Pacific Sweetie is 101 pounds of fun. Is it Honey Bun? Right. <laughs> All right, here are the double jeopardy categories. We have world literature. 
We have U.S. Geography. Oh, good. I like geography. Sports. Travel and Tourism. Awards. We have one category left. Let's go ahead and reveal it. World of Fashion. All right. Olympic sport divided into freestyle and Greco-Roman. What is wrestling? That's it. I'll take uh, sports for four. In basketball, it's dribbling with both hands or resuming to dribble after you've stopped. What is a double dribble? Right. Baseball Senior Circuit. The National League. Uh, keep it going. In hockey, where you're sitting, if you're in the sin bin, what is the penalty box? Correct. Sport where you can find someone working on the chain game. What is football? Yes. I'll take awards for 200. This country awards the Order of the Aztec Eagle to foreigners for distinguished service. What is Mexico? Right. Though five Nobels are awarded in Sweden, peace prize ceremonies take place in this country. What is Norway? Yes. The John Newberry Medal is given annually to authors in this field. What is fiction? No. Children's books. Correct. <laughs> Princeton athlete and future senator who won the Sullivan Award as 1965 Best Amateur Athlete. Bill Brady. No. Bill Bradley. Bill Bradley. All right. The hat in the Mexican hat dance. What is El Sombrero? Correct. Okay. I'll take uh, World of Fashion for four. South Seas garb worn by Dorothy Lamour on the road. 
What's a sarong? Yes. Could we have World of Fashion for 600, please? We're on his body in Arab, but wearing the traditional kefa yet. What is the head? Right. Uh, World of Fashion for 800, please. About seven yards long, it's the loose body wrap worn by Hindu women. What's a sari? You are correct. Sash worn with a Japanese kimono. What's an obi? Yes. In 1944, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association has presented these in the movie and TV fields. All the Golden Globe Awards. Right? Let me take travel and tourism for 200. You can ride through this Midwestern state's Dells in an amphibious vehicle called a duck. It's Wisconsin. Okay. I'll keep it going with uh, travel tours before. If you go to India, you'll see women wearing a black or red dot called a kum kum, called a kum kum, whatever it's called, on this body part. Is it the forehead? You are correct. <laughs> you'll have to spend all your zlotis in this country since it's illegal to take them out. Poland? Right. <laughs> and a daily double up there, one of the two. Going a thousand. All right, here's the clue in travel and tourism. Spain owns and operates Evieco, its major airline, and this, its other, its major international one. Is it Iberia? Correct. Called the greatest of all Latin poets, he's most noted for the I need. Who was um Ulysses? No. Virgil, oh yeah. Right. Rome has sealed off 25 acres for pedestrian traffic in the district, named for this fountain. What's the Trevi Fountain? That's it. Ladies say Shonagon wrote Pillow Book. Gossipy Story is considered a classic in this country. What is uh, Japan? You are correct. I'll take World Literature for 600. 
The Ghost of Christmas Present appears in this Dickens novel. What is a Christmas Carol? You are correct. Playwrights born there include Dion Folkicole, Lady Gregory, John Stringe, and Samuel Beckett. Ireland. You are correct. This British author's book, Ashenden, is an account of his spying exploits in World War I. Somerset Maugham was his name. So we know the other daily doubles in the category of U.S. geography. Now it's just a matter of finding out which clue it's in. Connecticut and this state are the only ones that end with T. What is Vermont? Right. This area of the Dakotas was named for its difficult terrain, not for its wild frontiersmen. What are the Badlands? That's it. The waters off Cape Hatteras in this state have been called the Graveyard of the Atlantic. What is North Carolina? That's it. This region between the Appalachians and the Atlantic Coastal Plain was named for a region in Italy. What are the Adirondacks? No. It's the Piedmont. Oh, yeah. Correct. And now the last clue is all yours because it is the other Daily Double. Okay, this is make or break for you, Hannah. Here's your clue. Rivers that eventually reach the Atlantic are separated from those reaching the Pacific by this. Do you have an answer? Is it the Continental Divide? Yes. Got it. Candy, $2,200, me, $18,400. Here is today's final Jeopardy category. Dealing with math today, $6,852 will be my wager. Final Jeopardy answer is... The next number in the series of 1, 3, 6, 10. Everybody said 15. Everybody's right. So I ended up with $25,252. I'll see you all for another game after the break, everybody. Be right back right after this 